Come to talk to old Ogren, have you? Don't know why. Nothing. I'm fine. Just, uh, I got a hornet in my eye is all. Did you want to talk about something? What about? Oh, sure. I'm fine with it. I mean, she was a real firebrand between the sheets. But a bit soft in the skull, you know what I mean? Explains why she left, anyway. I swear to the stone, the next time someone asks me that, I'll write my name in bruises on their ass. Ancestors, take me. You people whine like tea kettles around here. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. You and I, we... You know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. Hmm. I was thinking, uh, I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar. Before I left, obviously. What? Oh, you mean, were we rutting? <laughs> oh, I. After Bronco left for the deep roads. Name's Felsi. She was a fiery one. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. Oh, we coiled the old rope, if you know what I mean. Oiled the mine shaft. <laughs> Rubbed the foreman's elbow. <laughs> Should I show you? <laughs> Alright, don't kill me. Anyway, she left for the surface a year back, and I haven't seen her since. I, You are a true pal, Warden. You know that? I tried to look her up the last time we were at Lake Kalanhod. She wasn't at work at the inn. At home with her sick mother, they said. I figured it was just the ancestors telling me something. But I keep thinking about her. Ah, you suspicious sack of pebbles. You always have to think the worst of someone. Ah, you whipped out the knife, didn't you? Look, Felsi and me, we didn't leave things on the best of terms. Yeah, she was jealous of Bronca. And she got to be controlling, and Ogren was meant to be free, you know what I mean? Anyway, she couldn't handle everyone wishing they could be with me. So she left. Honest truth. Well, it's my side of the story. I don't give sod all what you believe. So, are we doing this or not? No, no, I think it was clean bad. I remember because I thought, yeah, that's right. Dirty good, clean bad. <laughs> but thanks for offering to take us there. You're a good friend, Warden. No, uh, what was it you wanted to say? What about? What? Miss Orzammar? Are you mad, in addition to being ugly? <laughs> they treated me like a puddle fly back there. I'm never going back. It's sodding great. At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but... There's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are, or what you're doing. And the ale... Oh, who'd have thought? Ale made with grain. <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My kind of place. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. <laughs> I still got it. Don't you know anything about women? You gotta make them wait. 
play hard to get. Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? What the sod is there to know? You get mad, you fly into battle, and things die. It's pretty simple. The hard part is getting in touch with your rage. We all learn to hold that back. It's why we don't kill every duster who looks at us sideways. You need to shut that off. For some people, being in battle is enough. But others have to think about something. Violence, monsters, nobles, your wife, whatever. Well, for most berserkers it does. Several years ago, I worked with a berserker on one expedition who just couldn't work himself up. We had to kick him in the stones before he could get going. Aye, all right then. Pull up a drink, Warden. Join me in my sodding hole. Nah, just tired is all. Did you want to talk about something? What about? You get a sword or an axe, and are told to go out and defend your city. It's the best thing in the world. That is until you try to live in the city you saved. I mean, they train you to kill, teach you to harness your rage at the first noise you hear, then try to set a hundred sodding rules about it. Like those provings. <laughs> Ancestors show their favor through the strongest arm, right? So why so many rules saying how to fight and when you win and not to bloody kill? Killing's what swords are for. You toss a nug to a deep stalker, you don't expect it not to eat the thing, right? <laughs> this makes me cranky. Don't you have any other inane questions? All right. Aye, all right then. Just leave me alone, Warden. Seriously. Upset? <laughs> I don't get upset. I get drunk. Did you want to talk about something? You want to be a berserker? <laughs> Thought I'd never see the day. You're a monster on the field already, Warden. But your style just doesn't give itself to mad rage. Too much thinking, too much, uh, what you call it, finesse. But if you know someone fit for this type of work, I'll teach him. It'll be nice to have another berserker to grunt at for a change. If you want to think like a berserker, drop fair from your vocabulary. If it works, that's all. Hi. All right, then. There you are. <laughs> I was thinking. We've been through a lot together now. We're like old war buddies. So I figured why not invite you to share a drink, huh? A drink from my own stash, my family's recipe, and dedicated to my comrades in arms. <laughs> yes! The Warden steps up! You handle that like a champion, my friend. <laughs> Most impressive. How do you feel? Oh no, the rest is for me. You'd need to do something really unspeakable to get into the rest of my stash. I, uh, I just wanted to tell you, after all we've been through, you're like family to me. Closest thing I've had in years. Aye, a toast with a dry cup. <laughs> You're not getting any more of my brew. So, do you want to talk about something? Aye, all right then. You want? I don't know, I just... I guess we're pretty good friends now, right? I just... I just keep thinking about all that slag with Bronca. How I've turned out. I always said I was this way because she left, but I think maybe she left because of how I am. No, 
she just estimated me. She knew how I was, and because of that, she left without me. Worked out in my favor, though. I'm here fighting the good fight, not fed to Keridan's traps or her pet darkspawn. Did you want to talk about something? Aye, well, hello. Hey, Warden, you gotta hear this one. This human walks into a tavern, and there's an elf there, and she says... <laughs> <laughs> As she says, <laughs> she says, I don't. <laughs> you, you have a lot of nerve coming here. Oh, no, you don't. You can't come swishing in here and take over the Warden's camp just like that! I'll fight you with my sodding weapon, you moss-biting poetess! Your disguise can't fool me, woman! That's right. You keep looking at me like that. I'll just go get my pants from that sodding dog. You saw it. Tell that thing to give it back. It's all a part of the plan, you see? A clever ruse to get that dog back for stealing my pants. But I'll show him. Yeah, I don't need my pants anyway. But the dog doesn't know that. And it will be his sodding downfall. You hear that, Nug Humper? I'm coming for you! Prepare to die! <laughs> Ass chaps! <laughs> right here, old pal. What about? I, I do. A bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're all a bunch of whimpering softies in the end. Anyhow, let's keep moving. If anyone finds out I was getting all mopey, I'd lose my reputation. You. You have a lot of nerve coming here. Problem? Oh, I... I got a problem. With your face. You keep it up and I'll fight you. I don't even care that you're some kind of wool-gnawing poetess. You came and, and stole my own princess with your, your... your poetry. You're drunk. <laughs> Take that, you sodding... Uh, sodding... poetess. No, pal. You think I'm someone else. <laughs> How do you like that, huh? Switch! That's right. You keep looking at me like that. I'll just go get my pants from that sodding dog. There. I, you. <laughs> I've been watching you. Where can I get some sauce for that rump roast? <laughs> That's right. You've wiped your foot on the Ogren doormat of love. <laughs> Go and make yourself ready, woman. I'll be right there to see to it. 